So something I wanted to do this year was share more about my story. I try to be really private with it because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and I don't like to think about the past, but I have some really interesting things that's happened and hopefully it will help you if you are going through anything or you've gone through something similar and you feel like you're alone. And by the way, I'm calling these live from the bedroom floor and I'll be doing these throughout the year on this page to share more about me and I hope you enjoy it. So here's a little bit about me. I was born in Charleston in St. Francis Hospital. There I am as a baby. Um, just like I mentioned, I just had a really nice, sweet childhood, um, but my parents were not really around. My mom's here. Oh my gosh, go back <laughs> and look at that photo. Always like a good, creepy Santa picture. Love the water. Absolutely love to dance. Lived with my grandparents for a couple of years, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, was in Charleston. My mom loved taking us. So a big part of my story is my parents divorced when I was three, and I went and lived with my grandparents parents my sister and I lived with our grandparents for a few years and y'all I love my grandparents love them so much they're both deceased and they adopted my dad they're just super super special people and one of my favorite memories is my sister and I taking baths with our little doll babies in this bathtub I absolutely love it and just looking back on the memories my dad lives in this house now and it looks nothing like this it's so fun to look back at these it just makes me it's like my happy place and one thing I was was a happy child. I love just to smile, laugh, dress up, be fun, be goofy. It was just always part of my DNA and I think it stuck with me, which I'm really blessed about. Other crazy fun fact, when I was going through all these photos, and I have a lot of them, this was the only photo I have really with my dad besides when I was a baby and with my mom. How crazy is that? I'm sure they have some more, but that was it for my collection. <laughs> But that's the first part of my story. My parents divorced when I was really young. I lived with my grandparents. My mother decided that she wasn't able to take care of us like my dad could because he had a degree and he had a career and she was so young. They were so young, they were in college. And so I, you know, of course it makes me sad to think that our parents were together and I didn't have a mom really, you know, to, to be with me through my childhood, my life like that. But, you know, it just was part of who I am. And I had so many great memories of my grandparents that I will treasure all of my life. And, um, you know, you just got to look back at your story and say, okay, so I was, I went through this part of my life. Hold on. I had to stop because I'm like emotional about this. But, you know, it's okay that your story is not, you know, a typical one or um, one that you think it's going to be. I mean, I always thought it was normal when I was growing up that most parents didn't stay together and that it was fun to go live with your grandparents. And what a true treasure because they're both deceased. They died when I was really young. And I just look back and those were the happiest memories of my life, the two years or so, whatever years I lived in my grandparents. We did so many cool things together. It was so much fun. They loved, you know, grandparents just love you, hopefully love you so much. And they really did. And I'm super blessed. So I don't look like, you know, there are some moments in my life where I was like, gosh, I wish I'd had a mom to help me do all the things you do as a girl. But I am, and you know, my dad was really, really busy, but I am glad that I had the sister I had who really led me and groomed me and was there for me through everything. I mean, I look through all my photos and everything I see is mostly me and my sister. And I'm so, you know, glad I had those moments with her. And so, you know, it's okay to like looking back, of course it hurts me some, but like think of the positive moments and treasure those because that's really what's important is like not being bogged down by the fact that you don't have this or that, or your life is not typical, but that you had this and that, like I had so many fun, really cool moments. Um, I remember when I was in middle school, in high school, you know, my dad was single at the time and we were like free birds and we did so many cool things. He owned a baseball team, which I'll talk about in my next, on my next session on the floor. But, um, you know, I just really remember my young, young, young years, like five and under just being so special and magical because I lived with my grandparents and because I had my sister by my side and because we lived at the beach and all of these things. So just treasure those special moments and don't let it like, like, don't let it be a hindrance. Let it be a blessing. Another funny thing. I used to suck my fingers. Like, I think it was, <laughs> I think it was those two fingers. I had warts on them. I sucked them till I was in middle school. I would hide behind pillows sucking my fingers. And here's me, a picture sucking my fingers. And I was really young. I'm sure it was like an anxious thing I did. 
But um, yeah, I mean, it's just all these like little things. So um, just embrace your story. I can't wait to share mine. Hopefully you enjoy it and you learn and you grow and we just connect more. Um, that's my goal this year is to be vulnerable, to share more. And I appreciate anyone who watches this and supports me and loves me for who I am. I love you for who you are very, very much.